Uh, hi, so I'm Michal uh, from Tel Aviv University, and this is a joint work with Oren Salzman and Danny Halperin. Um, I'll start by uh, mentioning the uh, very few uh, relevant definitions, with, um, which I'm sure that you're all familiar with. So the basi basic motion planning problem is given a robot uh, moving in an environment cluttered with obstacles. The goal is to plan a collision-free path for the robot from an initial position to a given target position. And sampling-based methods uh, solve the problem in the configuration space uh, by constructing a roadmap that attempts to capture the connectivity of the free space. And asymptotically optimal sampling-based planner is also guaranteed to convert to the optimal solution if a solution exists. So the two primitive operations that are frequently used by uh, sampling-based methods are collision detection and nearest neighbor search. Collision detection is used to determine whether a configuration or a path between two configurations is collision-free, and the latter is termed local planning. Well, nearest neighbor search is used uh, to report the closest neighbor or neighbors of a given configuration in the roadmap. And note that the uh, main practical computational bottleneck is typically considered to be collision detection when we also count local planning as collision detection. So in this work, we formally prove that nearest neighbor search dominates the asymptotic running time of several asymptotically optimal uh, planning algorithms. And we also uh, characterize settings which we term NN sensitive, in which the role of nearest neighbor search is uh, far from negligible. And we show experimentally uh, that nearest neighbor may dominate collision detection after a finite running time. So we see, for example, the following plot, which denote, uh, uh, in which, um, which depicts the time breakdown of MPLB algorithm, which is a variant of FMT star, as a function of the number of samples. And in the light blue region denotes the portion of time spent on collision detection, including local planning. The purple region denotes the portion of time spent on nearest neighbor search, and all everything else is. Uh, in the above uh, blue part. And as you can see, as the number of samples increases, the portion of time spent on nearest neighbor search uh, increases as well. And at some point, it even becomes uh, larger than the time spent on collision detection. So in such settings, efficient and possibly specifically tailored nearest neighbor data structure can be, can be used to reduce the overall running time of the planning algorithm. Our last contribution is that we show how to effectively use the uh, radial connection strategy for a symptotically optimal algorithm in practical settings. So we first uh, prove that nearest neighbor search dominates the asymptotic, uh, uh, dominates the asymptotic uh, running time of both RT star and SPRM star, which is the batch va uh, version of PRM star. Um, and th this is somehow uh, folklore, and, and you heard it even in the previous talk. Um, but, but we give a formal proof. So uh, uh, consider the ratio between the overall time spent on nearest neighbor search and the time spent on collision detection after a set S of configurations was sampled. And we denote this ratio by Q of S. And we define uh, key of n to be the expected value of key of s over all sample sets uh, of s of size n. And in the paper, we uh, prove the following two theorems, that the expected value of the ratio, both for SPRM star and for RT star, tends to infinity as the number of samples n goes to infinity. And in our analysis, we use lower bounds uh, for nearest neighbor search that are derived from the partition tree paradigm. And we also use upper bound for uh, collision detection. So uh, let me mention that we assume that our nearest neighbor data structure uh, follows this partition tree paradigm. And this is uh, a reasonable assumption. assumption. It's, it is justified in most uh, nearest neighbor data structure that use trees. OK. So the second thing we do is that we uh, characterize an, uh, settings which we call an insensitive in which the uh, time spent on nearest neighbor search is far from negligible and it may even dominate the time spent on collision detection. 
Uh, and these settings can be of the following three types. And insensitive algorithms, which are planning algorithms that algorithmically shift some of the computational cost from collision detection to nearest neighbor search. And an example is the MPLB algorithm that I mentioned earlier. Uh, the second type is are uh, insensitive scenarios uh, which, in which the computational cost of certain planners is mostly due to nearest neighbor search. And the last type is an insensitive parameters, which are values of algorithm parameters for which the computational cost of certain planners is mostly, mostly due to nearest neighbor search. And here I will only demonstrate an insensitive scenarios uh, due to lack of time. Uh, and I will, on, uh, I will focus on uh, the effect of the dimension D of the configuration space. So consider the RRT star algorithm. We fix the number of samples n, and we gradually increase the dimension d by increasing the number of robots in a given workspace. And in this uh, experiment, we use, we use the uh, 3D cubicle scenarios from OMPL, and we use two to six robots. Uh, and in our experiment, we saw that RT star struggles with extending the roadmap uh, as the number of robots increases. And as you can see in the following uh, uh, plot uh, that in which the y-axis shows the ratio of RT star as a function of the dimension, uh, for a fixed uh, value, uh, for a fixed number of samples, this ratio increases with the dimension. We see an increase for every uh, fixed uh, value of n. Uh, for uh, the SPRM star algorithm, we, used, uh, we conducted a different experiment. Our workspace was the d-dimensional unit hypercube uh, with a centered hypercubical obstacle of a fixed uh, volume mu, and the robot was a point robot. And here, there is a curious phenomenon that is explained in detail in the paper. Uh, we see that uh, when D, dimension D is gradually increased, the ratio first shows an initial increase, then it may uh, possi uh, possibly decrease, and, but it will finally tend to some uh, constant value. Okay, so uh, the last contribution uh, is, uh, arises from our experiment. So recall that a symptotically optimal algorithm make uh, algorithms make use of either KNN or RNN queries. And for RNN, uh, the following radius is, uh, is typically used, where uh, N denotes the size of the roadmap, and zeta D denotes the volume of the d-dimensional unit volume. And in order to ob obtain a valid radius for uh, non-Euclidean uh, C spaces, uh, one must supply uh, a, f a correct value for zeta d in, the, in these uh, configuration spaces. And in our, our paper, we uh, derive closed form expression for zeta d in various non-Euclidean uh, C spaces that are common in motion planning. And I, I would like to mention that uh, we were not able to find such expressions in the literature. Um, okay. Uh, so when we used this radius, uh, um, uh, what happened was that uh, the, the roadmaps that we kept obtaining were highly disconnected. And uh, trying to understand uh, the cause, uh, we noticed that, uh, that the fo following phenomenon occurs. So uh, the common proofs for asymptotic <laughs> optimality rely on the implicit assumption that for every point in the configuration space, the ball of radius Rn centered at this point uh, will, uh, will be fully contained in the configuration space with high probability. And uh, for a point which is close to the boundary of the configuration space, if the radius is not sufficiently small, then this ball will not be fully contained in, this, uh, in C. And this in turn means that the number uh, of reported neighbors for this point X will be uh, smaller and perhaps even significantly smaller than the expected value, uh, the expected number of neighbors when using this radius R. So um, in most of our experiments uh, for uh, the practical values of N that we used, all of the points in the configuration space were close to the boundary. 
and um, and and in order to uh, to obtain connected uh, roadmaps, uh, then we had uh, and we had to use huge values of uh, uh, of n. So instead, uh, we propose a heuristics uh, a heuristic for choosing a valid radius uh, for practical values of n. And using this heuristic, we, we use it in our experiment, and using, using this heuristic, uh, high quality solutions are obtained up to 10 times faster than we, with k nearest neighbor. Okay, so now for our dirty laundry. Uh, so originally, we were trying to analyze the case where the dimension d goes to infinity. However, as suggested by the reviewers, uh, when d is very large, then one would probably use other methods. So we no longer do that. Uh, we also uh, decided to measure uh, the wall time, uh, though this measurement is machine or implementation uh, sensitive in some sense. And this was, uh, this was also a concern that was raised by the reviewers. However, most implementation of sampling-based motion planning use a, a fairly small set of tools for collision detection and nearest neighbor search uh, to the best of our knowledge. And also, uh, wall time is what matters most in practice. And, but having said that, uh, we still provide average operation counts for all of our experiments to allow a person who comes up with a new machinery to check it effectively. And the last uh, issue is that we currently focus only on asymptotically optimal algorithms in which collision detection and nearest neighbor search constitute together the uh, lion's share of the running time, uh, but we do not consider uh, algorithms that use a third type of operation, which is, uh, uh, is non-negligible. Okay, so I would like to mention on, uh, only one uh, question in the first directions. Uh, so the question of uh, whether uh, which connection strategy to use, uh, either KNN or RNN, arises in uh, many, many contexts, but in our context, we would like to know whether this choice affects the NN sensitivity, and we saw that it might. For instance, in our SPRM star experiment, when using KNN instead of RNN, the algorithm became uh, much more NN sensitive. Uh, okay, so uh, that's it. <laughs> Thank so we you. Thank 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 you. Uh, okay, no, no, that's a good question. I haven't compared to uh, prune, uh, to methods that use pruning, but it will be interesting to do that. I've only used the b most basic uh, RT star and PRM star uh, algorithms, which are the no. basic. <laughs> okay. Dinesh, perhaps? This is really nice work. Uh, you showed in the beginning that you know there's some empirical numbers of collision detection and nearest neighbors, and then you show asymptotic results. Interestingly, there's a lot of work, again, more in computer graphics community where people are a lot of engineering to really implement both collision and nearest neighbor using multi-core hardware and caching. Uh, do you have a sense of you know how will those? Is there a big gap between those asymptotic results versus practical results? Is if you can explain that. Uh, so I, I, I must say that I'm aware of uh, of this uh, of cer uh, certain work uh, uh, certain such works, but we we haven't considered that in this paper. This is uh, obviously a future work uh, which sh which should be treated should be handled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I agree, there is a huge gap between the asymptotic values and the practical uh, practical uh, complexity bounds. Mm -hmm. So um, collision detection seems unavoidable in motion planning, but nearest neighbor search is um, a product of sampling-based algorithms. Does the fact that nearest neighbor search is so expensive 
uh, suggest using approaches that don't do near snape the shorts? Uh, okay, so it means that uh, one would have to use methods that are not sampling based, because it's uh, it's one of the basic components of sampling based algorithms. Uh, well, that's a good question. Uh, I I don't know how to answer that. I think that uh, if you consider sampling based algorithm, then you must use nearest neighbor search, but if you move to a different kind of algorithm, then probably the, uh, probably the roles uh, are different there. It becomes oh. different. Okay, thanks again to the speaker. And, uh,